Hey, this is uh, Tech out of the mailbox here. And now I know this is actually a couple of years old, the airport time capsule, uh, but I needed to replace one. So I went ahead and ordered one. Uh, I did this for those of you who've been waiting for an update to the airport time capsule, because it probably means that Apple will announce a new one in a month or so. That's generally what happens. Uh, I bought the Nest. Nest came out with a new one later that week. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to unbox this. Apple does love a nice box, doesn't it? Look at that. You just pull it right off the top. Boom. There it is. These things are huge. Now, my old time capsule is about six years old, uh, the one that went defunct. And I like this better, although I wish it weren't so big. It really does have the, uh, they're really protecting the Apple logo at the bottom of your time capsule. They think of everything, that Apple. So, uh, yeah, you're looking at a filmy cover over... Looks like three Ethernet ports, a uh, USB attachment, if you can, so you can expand it, and uh, an Ethernet in, as well as your power cord there. This thing goes all the way around, don't it? Uh, this is a three terabyte model, so it's going to be three hundred bucks. And even in the bottle, bottom here, designed by Apple in California. Uh, that's it. You get a power cord. You get a setup guide. Setup guide really mostly is the FCC disclosure that you're required to give. And that is what it looks like. Apple logo on the top, Apple logo on the bottom, big white thing. Uh, and it's good for when you're married to somebody who has a MacBook as well. And you want a lot of space to have a local backup of. And that's the thing. I always recommend have cloud backup have local storage, and of course have the data on the devices itself. Anyway, there you go. That's tech off the shelf. Why is my hand shaking? Or is there an earthquake? Hmm. I gotta go check that out.